the Duchess of Westminster Handicap Chase is next. This is a 0 130 and the second of our two races from Bangor. And at the top we've got Window Rock Lover for Vinnie Gerard. Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg, Giran Citizen, David Robertson, Bridge Pool, Darren Thompson, Polk Salanani, Martin Leedham, Nockdolian Robin, James Shea, The Passionate Queen, David Robertson, The Wild Witch, Joshua Stillman, Bookshot, Daniel French, Crucial Elsie, James Shea, Night Escapade, John Morgan, March Tit for Graham Clutterbuck, Winning Brillant, Alex Cherry, Dressed to Impress, Craig Beckwith and Passe Saratoga for Alex Cherry, a field of 15 then in this one, and away they go, heading towards the first fence, and 18 to take this time, and they all get over that one safely. With Poke Saladani and Bridge Paul, the two who are going to go on. Like Poke Saladani is not going to get her own way this week because Bridge Paul seems more determined to lead at the moment. Jockey really working hard on that one to get it clear in front. One or two mistakes in rear. And it's a short run to the third, which is a ditch. And there's a four up. There's two fours at the back. Passe Saratoga and Passionate Queen have both gone. So maybe the hot early pace has caught them out. Two down already. And Bridge Paul has definitely won the battle to lead. Poke Saladani, who made all last week, is not going to do that this week. He's in second. Night Escapade is back in third for John Morgan. Then the Wild Witch is fourth. Giran Citizen is fifth. And then March Tit with William Brennan after that one. Towards the back. Bookshot is just the back marker as they get over the next. And John Morgan's Wild Witch, not Wild Witch, Night Escapade, sorry. Made a bit of a mistake at that one. As they get over the fifth. And there's another one down there. Window Rock Lover's gone. So, Vinnie Gerard doesn't have that many fallers. But that one's gone there. A top white. And it's Bridge Paul who's in front. Over this next ditch. Poke Saladani over it in second. Gap of four or five lengths then to the Wild Witch on the inside of Night Escapade. And then wider still Wooden Brillant. Just tucked in behind them. Marsh Tit. And then on the rail is a crucial Elsie. That one, G around Citizen, as they get over the seventh. Where Pokes and Annie was slow and dressed to impress, made a mistake at the back. We've still got two miles to go, plenty of action already so far. With Bridge Paul then probably in the lead by two and a half lengths to Pokes and Annie, who's got a similar advantage over William Brillant, who's in third, two lengths clear of Night Escapade and the White Witch racing together. Then comes Giran Citizen, Marsh Tit and Crucial Elsie. Gap of a length or two then to Cloak of Magic and Bookshot with Nocdolian Robin just behind them and dressed to impress just the back marker and it was the leader who made the mistake that time. He see it hard and momentarily surrendered the lead. Also Bookshot didn't jump it too well at the back. But Bridgepool's been driven back into the lead. Quite a few of them have made mistakes so far. So they come into this ninth and slow jump by Poke Saladani. As the field is beginning to merge into one. There's still a mile and a half to go. And Bridge Paul is in front. And Poke Saladani second. A full circuit ahead of them then. Final circuit of this visit to Bangor. Pretty sure it's the only time we come to Bangor throughout the season as well. And it's Bridge Paul in the lead. On Pokes and Annie jumped that really well in second. Now there's a faller at the back there. Bookshot's gone. one has been making some mistakes, so probably not too much of a surprise to see that one depart. Bridge Paul and Pokes and Annie have been one and two throughout, and it's been pretty much Bridge Paul in the lead all the way. Pokes and Annie second, then Night Escapade is third. Giran Citizen is fourth as I get over that ditch. Again, a slightly better jump by Pokes and Annie. Escapade seems to be going well in third. Giran Citizen and the Wild Witch are running on nicely. Crucial Elsie is getting closer as well. William Brillant still there in that leading group. Well, group that are chasing the leaders as they come to take this turn. There's still a mile to go, a long way to go yet. And Poke Salani and Bridge Paul matching strides in the lead. Four lengths clear. Well, Giran Citizen is now a clear third. Good jump there by Pope Saladani. Sees go back into the lead. Uh, Bridge Paul again being driven back up the inside, but jumped that slowly. And now Pope Saladani's too clear. 
of Bridgepool in second. The Wild Witch getting ominously closer in third. Night Escapade still going well in fourth. Then Giran Citizen and William Brillant with Marsh Tit after that as they took that ditch. And there's a faller there. Marsh Tit's gone. So another one out. And Pope Salinani leads by just half a length from Bridgepool has been driven back up the inside. The Wild Witch going round the outside. Giran Citizen is flying round the outside as well. Night Escapade's got nowhere to go. They get over the third last and suddenly now Pope Salinani comes under pressure. Giran Citizen hits the front. Giran Citizen from Bridgepool is trying to fight back. Then comes the Wild Witch and Night Escapade. Pope Salinani now beaten. Then comes winning Brillant after that one but it's Giran Citizen who's in the lead. Giran Citizen's about a length up then on Bridgepool and the Wild Witch. Then comes Night Escapade. Gap back then to Pope Salinani and winning Brillant. They're coming down towards the final two. And it's Giran Citizen who's three parts of a length clear. Giran Citizen from the Wild Witch and Bridgepool. Then comes Night Escapade. Cloak of Magic is running on from the back. But it's the Wild Witch who's now gone into the lead. The Wild Witch takes it up. Night Escapade is coming through into second. But the Wild Witch has got first run. Here comes the final fence. It'll all come down to the jump, I think. It's the Wild Witch who's two lengths clear. Jockey's looking the wrong way. He comes into the final fence. Gets over it nicely. Good jump too by Night Escapade. These two are well clear. But it's the Wild Witch who's going to be the stronger, I think, well inside the final half furlong. Jockey's taking it pretty easily. And up towards the line, it's going to be the Wild Witch that takes it from Night Escapade in second. Dressed to impress from nowhere for third. Then Cloak of Magic and Crucial Elsie. All the way back to Nocdolian Robin. Now, I don't even think they're a mention in the race. But it's a win for Josh with the Wild Witch. Uh, the Wild Witch, the winner for Joshua Sutherland, not escapade second for John Morgan, dressed to impress for Craig Beckwith, was third. Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg, fourth. And Crucial Elsie for James Shea, was fifth.